Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the pixelab.net. Got a pretty cool tutorial, so let's jump right in. We're gonna be talking about how to make an ocean and how to make waves. So in the past, one way to do that was to make a plane. And then what you would do is go to your effectors and go ahead and add a random effector. Now, normally your object is inside the random effector, uh, but if you put the random effector inside the plane, you can use it to deform the plane. So then what you would do is go to your deformer tab, change the deformation to point mode, and we get all screwed up. Um, then we can go to our parameters and we'll just zero these out and pick which direction we want it to deform in, just the Z. And if we hit play, nothing's going to happen. That's because uh, there's no animation right now. But if we change the effector and change the random mode to noise, all of a sudden we have some animation. And we have our animation speed, which we can drop down, and we have some scale to play around with. And this is a pretty easy way to add some rippling kind of water surfaces. Uh, this is very useful for a lot of different things. Um, I just stumbled upon a free plugin, which is absolutely incredible, and I'd like to share that with you today. So this one is called Hot4D, and it's by Valkari. Hot stands for Houdini Ocean Toolkit. Um, so this started out in Houdini, and it's got ported over to Cinema 4D, and this is absolutely incredible plugin. So go ahead and download that for free. I would recommend checking out some of these, uh, these videos on here, especially this one on how to make vertex maps. He shows you how to texture it and use vertex maps so that you can actually add foam to all the crests of the waves, and it's very, very cool. Uh, so go ahead and download this and put it in your plugins folder. Uh, you need to have R14 for this. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and start with the plane again. And under your plugins, we have Hot 4D. Now, the Hot 4D goes inside the plane, just like the uh, previous effector, so that it deforms the plane. And by default, we have something that looks pretty similar to the uh, random effector. No animation. So let's go ahead and go into our Hot 4D, and we have tons of different features and options in here. So the one we're looking at first is to get sort of a base animation set up. So let's go ahead and, on your time, go ahead and make a keyframe. And then at the end, you can kind of kick it up to whatever you want and make another keyframe. Let's right click and go to our animation show tracks. And let's change these to linear keyframes so that it's kind of smooth the whole way through. All right, so here's our base animation. And let's go ahead and kick up the, uh, the approximate wave height. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that it's going to get kind of janky, right? The way to fix that is in your plane. It's all about the subdivisions. So if we crank up these subdivisions, crank them way up, we're going to get a much smoother look right here. So let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger as well, the plane. All right, so the first thing is this is way too uh, intense. So the wind speed is going to change that, and this wind speed is going to give you some really nice results. You actually have to increase the wind speed for it to kind of settle down a little bit. So now you can see, let's go ahead and kick down the wave height a little bit. So now you can see we're having a really nice sort of boiling ocean scene that's sort of rippling and pulsing and it's very, very realistic. This is absolutely awesome. So we have ocean resolution. You can kick that up and that's gonna give you a lot more kind of geometry and little details in there. We'll keep that down here for the tutorial. If you play with choppiness, you're gonna add some sort of rippling effects on the, the crests. So it'll kind of ripple over and fall. Um, there's tons of other stuff uh, you can play around with. I'm not going to go over too much. Like I said, down here we have uh, foam maps where you'll generate a vertex map uh, based on these crests, and you can actually add thinking particles that will make foam on all these crests, which is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple quick resources to get you going. Uh, this one absolutely blew me away. This is just gorgeous. Uh, this is a test done by Helga Kiel. And uh, this will show you that kind of foam on all the crests. The really cool thing is he actually has the scene file available for you. So this is what that looks like, ocean test. And you can see all the vertex maps and all the thinking particles. And you can see all the detail that he put into here and the textures, pyro clusters, absolutely gorgeous. So go ahead and dissect the heck out of this scene file and learn exactly what he did. Another great resource is uh, by Mostyle. And here's another test that he did and play that. So this is a buoy kind of floating in the ocean and uh, he's got a really nice uh, texture on this ocean. Um, go ahead and download this. He's got a free scene file as well which you can download and here's what that looks like. 
Uh, so yeah, this should give you some great resources, kind of dissect, uh, see what they did with their textures, see what they did with uh, the different settings in the Hot 40 plugin. Anytime you have oceans or water, this is gonna be the best place to start and give you some great results. So play around, have fun. If you make anything cool, shoot it my way, I'd love to see it. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll see you next time, bye.